This can't be normal. Make it stop! Jesus, I need to get this thing looked at. Continuing the search. Shit! I'll check in with Central. First one down.
That's it for the encryptors. You can now upload the virus using the central antenna. Got it. Nothing. I'm reading incoming drones. The Themis drones? No, no, no. These aren't the algorithmically driven assassin drones. They're just the normal drones that also kill you. out a little longer. The virus upload won't continue until Drone you get back to the antenna. Don't worry, it's more afraid of you than you are of it. to sort out new accommodations in an Albion holding cell. Have London rents really gotten that bad? Already? All right. Let's go to work then. Information is power and all that. What's an asshole? <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, here it goes. I'm reading incoming drones. Furnished drones. No, no, no. These aren't the algorithmically driven assassin drones. They're just the normal drones that also kill you. I suggest you leave before someone gets the bright idea to turn yours off. Cass's plan to use drones driven by some social algorithm to dispense justice has backfired. Do you think he's actually read any of those Greek myths he's named his drones after? What's to stop the next plan, and the one after that? Cass is the real problem here. We have to figure out a way to stop him. Look, we can hangle his army, we can hangle his drones. But you see, Cass, the people them like him. And if we take on the Ross Clark head on, it will only prove the tune he's been singing all along that DedSec are terrorists. So we take the people's support away, fam? Bags and me have some thoughts on what we gotta do. You lot better come in for a briefing. it. 
Ready to go. Run! Albion confirms that the explosions seen in the skies over London were indeed an Albion drone project that was sabotaged by the DedSec insurgency. In an exclusive interview with GBB Radio 1, Albion founder and CEO Nigel Cass had this to say. Truth is, the supposed freedom fighters of DedSec have made London less free. That drone project was meant to replace Albion boots on the ground, let the city get back to normal, but now... I can't in good conscience stand my people down. That's not how I lead. Cass went on to implore listeners to treat any suspected dead sec operatives as terrorists and to immediately report them to Albion. I hate this guy and his creepy yet alluring daddy energy. He was about to do a drone purge and now he's playing the victim. And it's working. Sorry, that was too cheerful. Sadly, it's working. Too sad? It's what he does. Scares the shit out of people, then swoops in and plays the hero. We've got to show them what he really is. So that's his weakness, his image. If we shatter that, he falls apart. Funny you should mention that. Some of us have a few ideas. Go, Bagley. This is Claire Waters, political dissident and podcaster, reported missing after teasing a salacious upcoming episode. Sadly, it never aired. So all we have is this. On the next episode of Buccaneer Radio... I'm chatting with someone from deep inside Nigel Cass's inner circle. He's promised me something that will expose Cass as the tyrant I know he is. This is going to blow the roof right off White Tower. See you next week, pirates. Nigel would have spun that interview if it was spinnable. If he went off the waters for it, that tape's a smoking gun. We've got to have it. Claire was known to broadcast out of Freight One. You should begin searching there. Claire Waters appears to be an equal opportunity muckslinger. Albion is her target of choice, but she's railed against tech genius Sky Larson, SIRS, and Plan Kelly. Opinionated, isn't she? She sounds fun. Let's invite her over for a game night. Or, you know, get her to join the resistance. She's been digging in Cass's shit for a while. If what she... Your somewhat reckless teammate has got themselves thrown in the old clink, I'm afraid. Difficult. all I've got, I'm afraid. Bloody analog technology. Uh, if we can find her, so can all the evil murderers that she pissed off. We should probably hurry.
Okay, but... Bitch, they got her. Oh, shit. I'd love to listen to you moan all day, but perhaps investigating her murder would be a better use of our time. I can swear and investigate at the same time. Lots of traffic here. Several individuals. Boots rather than shoes. One with a tread unique to a certain paramilitary supplier. I think it's from their autumn collection. Let me guess. Albion supplier? Why would Clan Kelly tag a wall at their own crime scene? Claire did release several podcasts critical of Clan Kelly, which you'd think they'd be used to by now. They're a criminal gang. They shouldn't expect flowers and thank you notes. Hey, I'm just saying, murderers don't usually sign their names next to the murderers they did. That's Claire's tablet. Can you scan it, Bagley? Tablet unlocked. Claire seems to have logged conversations on it. Okay, you've agreed to speak on the record. You are an intelligence technician at Albion and work closely with Nigel Cass, correct, Mr...? Just you. I can't believe I'm doing this. If they were to find out. I know. Only have to step outside to see how Albion treats people. What do you have for us? Proof that... <sighs> Proof that Nigel Cass was complicit in the bombings. What? But that's... Here, transfer it to this secure storage drive. How solid is this information? It's a recording of him talking to some... <gasps> you security, drop your weapons! Gather all our equipment and get it to the carousel. Do take that wall, then get rid of this body. She can stay here. <laughs> Gang vengeance is an horrible crime, ain't it? Fuck me. Cass sent a squad of his goons for Claire and that other bloke. That recording's got to be the real deal. Bastard knew about the bombings. Albion must have Claire's equipment then, along with the audio file evidence. This is exactly what we need to nail that palmy motherfucker to the wall. We're gonna make Cass answer for everyone, including Claire and her whistleblower. Let's go to Carousel Plaza. Sounds like as good a place as any to start looking.
The stolen evidence is here somewhere. Watch out, Albion security is thicker than whoever cleaned up that crime scene. There's also a lot of them around. More people to beat up. Sweet! Yes, well, let's focus on finding Claire's equipment, shall we? secure storage drive, which shockingly appears not to have been tampered with, so the audio evidence is probably still in town. Ooh, that's sexy. just been taken into Albion custody. So long as you don't cock up that badly, you'll be my favorite operative today. Oh no. Well, I knew this would happen. Let's go. you about trespassing, yeah? That's right. Didn't learn your lesson, huh? Please, I was just taking a picture of the exterior for... Oh, did you hear that, mate? He was taking a picture. <laughs> a bloody picture! <laughs> now, listen here, you knob. This is gonna be our final warning to you. If we ever see you coming around here again... You found Claire's equipment, including her secure storage drive, which shockingly appears not to have been tampered with, so the audio evidence is probably still intact. One way this ends. Uh. Shot fired! 
teammate has sought out new accommodations in an Albion holding cell. Have London rents really gotten that bad? Fuck, you know, have I got to do everything? Right, here we go. You go. Standard quadrant search. I have this one. Drone, initiate search. is now taking an Albion mandated timeout. You're up. <laughs> Too slow. Well, let's pick up where they left off.
down that drone. Assist. Stay sharp. Search the area. Target in sight. Engaging. We found Claire's equipment, including her secure storage drive, which shockingly appears not to have been tampered with. So the audio evidence is probably still intact. Please, I need help! 
Shit. Take the power back. Let's find him. I know you're listening. Let's talk. We told you the Prime Minister would turn you down. Brits love to see private military contractors on foreign streets, but not their own. He's a fool. This whole city, this whole country's collapsing. The military's held together with duct tape. Police are running scared. Someone has to save the people, Nigel. Someone strong. I've already worked it out. The ideal targets are the Toan Conference, Parliament, and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tech teams for logistics, but you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable. It cannot trace back to me. You're forgetting something. And I'll get you access to filament, as agreed. Now go away. Now scarper or they'll kill you for sure. Has a voice that makes you want to snap his smug bollocks in a pencil case, doesn't he? And Zero Day knew just which strings to pull to get what they wanted, didn't they? Filament. And Cass was willing to trade it for the keys to the city. Fuck. Don't know, fam. I, I think I always thought there was a chance for him to... Fuck! To be the man you thought he was. Sorry, Hamish. If that man ever existed, he's gone now. We have to get this information out there. To the people. You're right. When you lot get the chance, come to Piccadilly Circus. Been working with bags on something. And this proof is just the topping we needed. London, you've been lied to. Nigel Cass and his Albion peacekeepers intend to permanently control his city. The ideal targets are the Toan Conference, Parliament and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tech teams for logistics, but you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable, it cannot trace back to me. Nigel Cass collaborated with a terrorist to bomb this city. Then, he set up an orbital drone program called Themis that will target you based on your stolen data. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. I've given you the truth. Do as you will. Actually, fuck that. Resist. Not bad, not bad if I do say so, innit? Hey, Hamish. Haha. 
Thought you weren't risking your pretty face. Yeah, well, can't lock myself away from the world forever. Got a lot to make up for, don't I? Besides, you sorry lot need all the help you can get. Check it. Hey! Hey! Fucking wankers! Yeah, the whole of Albion won't just disappear. Sent that to every news outlet I could think of. They're gonna have it on the loop for a while. And when the people tweak to what it means, Cass is done. He'll be removed, prosecuted for high treason. They'll have no choice. We've done it. Congratulations, team. What's next? That can't be all you brought me on for. There is still the matter of Zero Day. You know, the rogue hacker group that conspired with Cass and Mary Kelly to blow up London. Jesus, Backley, all work and no play. Give the squad a second or two to bask in our victory. Safe to say it won't last long. I doubt this is the reaction you were expecting, but Nigel Cass is in the news again. The government has convened to review its contract with Albion. Nigel Cass himself has responded to requests that he should surrender to the authorities in a heated call with the GBB. Just shut up and listen to me. I will not be removed by the government or anyone else. I will die first. And many will die with me. They're calling for blood. They'll have it. This city belongs to me. I am its shepherd and I will slaughter my flock before I relinquish it. Cass has barricaded himself in his White Tower headquarters and threatened to kill anyone that tries to stop him. He is heavily armed and considered extremely dangerous. Shit. He's gone off the deep end. He's liable to take it to the streets in his state. We have no choice. We have to get to White Tower and stop him. Nigel's got a private bunker under this place where he liked to tweak his toys. I'll bet he's barricaded himself down here. Won't be anyone but the true believers around the compound. No time like the present. Luckily, his reinforcements are limited to whoever's faffing about nearby. Nigel, you talk too much. Huh. Huh. 
Got ya! Ah, it hurts him! Men and women of Albion, your true enemy has finally shown its face. It's masked face. But what more can we expect than cowards? Dead set. Come to destroy the one man able to resist their tyranny. Who do you think Roger Dennis would have targeted first? They're saving their own skins, nothing more. I found the answer to our problem and I will not stop until it's brought to fruition. Are you sure that's what you want to come up against? Do you want to test my resolve? Well then, come try. takes care of security, you can now access the elevator to the bunker. An alarm has been activated near you, survey Let's the shut things down. So you've come to end it, have you, Dead Sick? But haven't you figured it out yet? 
what our mutual acquaintance zero days set in motion. My inevitable reign and your downfall. This is how it will always end. The natural order of people like me and people like you. I am the law. Come down. Let me show you. Plans dead safe, but only temporarily. I'll rid the city of you. Weak points revealed. The EMP worked. Fire away. See is the future, the evolution of security enforcement. You will not stand. against that drone Cass is wearing. Complete the network bypass to power up the EMP stations. Cass has called in reinforcements. What a surprise. Oh my god. You've ruined my plans, Ned Sage, but only temporarily. Sweet point revealed. The EMP will oh, fire yes. away. The first 
GMP station is depleted. Power up the next one with a network bypass. Small forces incoming. Check your tail. Say is the future, the evolution of security and You will not stand in my way! Back up! I need... Your fight is futile. They won't even thank you. All your efforts, all your sacrifice for nothing. Let's get this over with. Time 
to end this. I will make London great again. I'm impressed. Think your little resistance is ready to be London's protectors? We seem to be doing a better job than you. Oh, it's a thankless burden. And the people will hate you for it in the end. Even when it's for their own bloody good. <laughs> That's the thing. You gotta let people decide for themselves. Ah, there it is. Dead sex fatal flaw. Your faith in people. You recruit all types, don't you, straight off the streets? Well, I used to have faith in people, too. I got a good man killed once. Well, that strikes Nigel Cass off the list. Shame. I think he would have made a smashing zero day. We have plenty of work still to do. Cass may be gone, but Albion won't disappear that easily. Expect the powers that be to find fresh excuses to keep them on the streets. That said, I think we've earned ourselves a bit of a rest. From zero day as well. <laughs> Oi, you put down a mad dog, dead sick. Needed to be done. This calls for a celebration, innit? And now that I'm not being hunted by a psychopath, I think I'd like to see that safe house of yours. Link me there.